Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Swing Studio here at Douglas Park. Um, in the last couple of weeks, uh, a number of the fans have released new products, and we've had a bit of chat recently about whether the new Kobe One, Kobe One X, and Taylor made TP5 and TP5X can make a difference, and just how much difference can a golf ball make to your game? So we thought we would test it. So Taylor made um, and Taylor was good enough to drop in some sample balls for us to have a hit with. I'm just going to talk you through some of the numbers that we found. So we tested these all with just with my own seven iron. Um, and as you can see down the, the left hand side of the screen here, we've got club head speed, ball speed, we've got carry, total, land angle and spin rates. These numbers all um, are important in determining how far the golf ball goes, where it's going to finish. So you can see that in the, the club head speed stays fairly consistent across all the clubs. We've kind of got 90 miles an hour, 89 miles an hour, there or thereabouts, so fairly consistent. But what does change quite considerably um, are ball speeds. Um, so obviously more ball speed the further the golf ball goes and when we um, played TP5X you can see up the top left hand side there we've got the, club, the ball speed at 126 miles an hour um, the average carry with that ball and with that club was 179 and a half so 180 yards and stopping at 187 yards the land angle is important because it, it tells us where the ball's likely to stop if the ball's coming down too shallow an angle it's going to bounce on Particularly if the spin rate's a little bit low, and you can see the spin rate in this one's about 6,000 and 5,900, which arguably is a little low. And if I'm going to continue playing these irons, I probably wouldn't play this ball because it's just a fraction too low for my liking. But with a change in irons pending this year, um, certainly my ball I'm going to consider primarily because the ball that I've been playing up to now is Pro V1X. And you can see in the next ball down, the, the ball speed drops considerably, so the club head speed's within half a mile an hour. Um, but we've got ball speed at 122, so 4 miles an hour slower, uh, carry distance is 8 yards shorter, and the total distance is 8 yards shorter, land angle is actually slightly shallower, spin rate is marginally higher, but the stopping distance is almost exactly the same. Pro V1, um, so ball speed drops a further mile an hour, total distance is down, um, oh, sorry, carry distance is down by 3 yards, total distance is down by 4 land angle slightly steeper, spin rates up a little and then the TP5 um, is very comparable to Pro V in terms of the, the total triggers so to Pro V1 so 122.6 ball speed, carry distance 173 so only two yards difference between that and the X um, total distance is up by two yards but the spin rate is down again so it's one of the things that Taylor may have been able to do is to bring that spin rate down which for some people that'd be great <clears throat> some people do spin the ball too much and consequently the ball kind of pops up in the air on them and they struggle to get the ball to go appropriate distances for me with this particular iron <clears throat> those spin rates are marginally too low I wouldn't be that confident that I'm going to be able to stop it particularly in firm greens but as I said you can see in the, the second club down here that talks about MB TP5X so that's the, the Cobra MB iron I'm hoping to play this year um, and if I just click to let you see the figures from that one the ball speed drops because there's a little bit more loft in this club we're not expecting it to perform quite the same but it, you can see that the spin rate jumps back up over 6,000 RPM the land angle is good so that's kind of where I'm going with it this year so for me personally um, TP5X is definitely worth a consideration 8 yards for most people is almost a club difference um, so if you can get the ball that little bit further off the tee but also be going into the club with a club uh, into the green I should say with a club list then it's certainly uh, it's certainly worth a consideration that wedge instead of a 9 iron might be the difference between me, you making the, the power or the birthday so worth a try if you fancy trying it if you want to get tested for it and find out what ball su would suit you for your long game and indeed for your short game um, we've done a bit of testing with that as well and the spin rates are exceptional with, with all the balls and the control is very good so if you want to test any of that then please feel free uh, give us a buzz and pop in cheers